traders from across the globe and welcome to the 1442nd edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni. Good evening traders. As you know, sometimes we give you longer term views, but basically this is for short term trading on most occasions. How are you this evening traders? You should know before we get into this that futures trading is extremely risky, causes substantial financial loss, and is not suitable for just about anybody anymore with this grand volatility. But if you're one of those nut cowboys that doesn't mind playing this game and knows about risk, Let's get moving, baby. Rock and roll video number 1,442. If the video is being filmed on Thursday night for trading Friday, that is March 4th, 2016. Friday, March 4th. My goodness, this year is moving already. Traders, what is on the board? Another green omni. Oh, beautiful, baby. All week long, we've been calling these green omnis. In fact, the Lord, they've been working out. I'm not blind. When the thing goes up, time to buy, right? Transportation average is above the Omni Trading Academy's proprietary moving average. That's what I showed you in my last video, that that would be our next hurdle. Well, so far, so good, right? And pause on that when we're above that hurdle. Let's see where we go. 200 ball moving average is now waiting above. NASDAQ, is it in a bull flag? I think it may be. I'll show you that chart. Gold still breaking out, breaking above the pennant flag. Gold looks fantastic. I think you got to continue to buy dips there, and I will tell you this again. Yes, there's a green omni. Yes, we've been buying most of the week. Yes, that's been working. But gold does not. Let me repeat this. <laughs> gold does not do this for absolutely no reason. 35 years deep, I am telling you now, there is an underlying reason why the gold has made the cup and handle formation, then the bull flag that got above the 200 ball moving average, and now is an pennant flag. There's a reason for this. Gold does not need to be up here unless it needs to go up there. So I am telling you now that there's an underlying something that is making the gold do this, but for now, hey, let's Buy the ES, it wants to go up. It's been going up for a few days. We've been buying it, luckily, for a few days, and it's been working. So, you know I've been showing you the bigger picture, this massive head and shoulders, the big bear flag on the right shoulder of the head and shoulders. That has not gone away. We'll see what happens, but we are day traders, and we've got to start off buying the dips like we've been doing for the last few days, once again on Friday in the E-mini S&P, NASDAQ, Russell, you name it. I think we got a cute little NASDAQ bull flag forming. I think it's going to absolutely work tomorrow. Traders, with no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Okay, traders, the Dow Jones Transportation Average, we like to deem this the leader in most cases, not all the time, but the leader of U.S. indices in most cases, is above the hurdle. Omni Trading Academy's proprietary moving average, OTAPMA, right here. Look at this. We got above yesterday on settlement and above it this morning, Thursday. So, wow, it settled above, and I've got to give that a round of applause. I don't care about the head and shoulders right now because we're trading for a teeny moment, day trade. For the day trade, we'll take it. We'll see what happens one day at a time. So, I love that, and we're definitely going to be looking to buy the dips for trading on Friday. Then there's your S&P traders. This is an F flag, an Oscarism known as the F flag. It is clear we are above just by a teeny, but we're above Otapma right now in your e mini S&P as well. And I like that look, and I think that's an F flag, and an F flag will usually go higher for a while if that's the form the F flag is in, and it is. Then we've got this pretty little chart here, traders. Look at the NASDAQ. If you ask me, I think that is a baby bull flag building. And I think that it will break out and we will move higher from that little flag. It's probably just a three bar flag looking to go because it didn't reach Otapma yet and the leader has already gotten there. So one of the close behind followers, almost the leader itself, is the NASDAQ. It's not, but it's almost. That should get to the Otapma at least because the leader, the transportation average, did. And then you've got gold traders. Look at this gold chart. Remember, this is part of the cup and handle formation I was showing you before the market ever took off. 
Then we had the flag break out. We got above the 200 ball moving average, and now we have formed this pennant flag, all of which I've been mapping out for you video after video. Look now. Look where you sit as of the close on Thursday. Now, of course, it could rally up and come back and go into the flag, but for now, as technicians, we call this a breakout of the flag, and we have to respect it unless it does something different. So we settled here on Thursday. The likelihood is we end up up here on Friday. Let's see what happens. Traders, that's the way I'm looking at things. I hope you see it in the same manner when you pull your charts. Come on down to livewithoscar.com and allow me to help teach you how to read these charts like a professional trader from Wall Street. So, traders, you've seen the charts. You've got my technical argument for, for why we still like the gold. And, hey, you got the bull flag building in your NASDAQ. You're above the OTAPMA in your transportation average. E-mini already above. The Russell looks like it's heading up there. Hooray for the markets moving higher, right? Why not? We'll go with it. All right, traders, that's about all I wanted to show you for tonight. Be ready for tomorrow. Put your stops in first. Olivia, I'll see you, sweetheart. I'll see you up in Reno. It is my daughter, Olivia, my number one, my firstborn. My daughter, Olivia, is having a father-daughter gathering through her sorority up in Reno this weekend, and I wouldn't miss it for the world. I'll see you, sweetheart. All right, I'm the X. I'll see all of you at the site. Of course, I'll bring my portable office with me, so we'll all be in touch with one another. And I will see you all at livewithoscar.com. Remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with trying to keep those emotions at bay, and I know it's not easy, say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stops are Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.